In this demonstration, we're going to talk about how to set up our OneDrive account, which is a place to store files as well as retrieve them. It's basically a hard drive in what's called the cloud, which means that it's not actually on your local computer, but it's stored across the internet. So to set up our OneDrive for the very first time, we can go to our Start menu, and it should be listed here as an app. So it starts with an O. And I'm just going to go down, here we go, OneDrive, and click that. And that should pop up a login window here. And I'll wait for that to kick in. And there it is. I can grab it by the top and move it around. And it seems like it because I'm already logged in, I have my email address in there. You will need to put your email address in if it doesn't automatically pop in. And it is your loyalist email address that you will use for this. Once the email address is there, you will click Sign In. And we'll just wait for the prompts. Okay, so it's creating a local folder on this computer to correlate with the one in the cloud, which will be the OneDrive. So just click Next. Now in my case, I've already created this one, so I'm just going to use this folder if that pops up, just say use this folder. And then I'm just going to click Next each time through here. And I'm not going to get the mobile app right now, so I'm going to click Later. And finally click Open My OneDrive folder. Now I've used it before, as I said, so I do have some material on there, but I put it all in this folder called All. So very quickly, I'm going to briefly go over on how you can create a new folder. And I'm going to have you create a new folder that will keep all of the material for all of this semester's work from all of your courses. We're going to create it in our course, but you will use this across all of your courses. Once you have files to save, this is where you should save them. Okay. So I'm just going to click on the OneDrive icon in the left here, so I know I'm on my OneDrive. And if you look at the top here, we have several tabs, File, Home, Share, View. It should default to Home. If not, click on the Home tab. And if you look around the middle area, this is where we can create new elements. There's a New Folder Quick button here. It's also available under the New Items. You can see that there are a number of files that could be initiated through this. So we're going to create a new folder. And this is how you're going to start with your OneCloud. I want you to specifically specifically name this new folder Spring Semester 2024. So I'm just going to type that in as well. 2024. And hit your Enter key. So the way folders work is they're containers. And I can put a container inside of a container almost endlessly. So this is going to be our main container. Think of it as the house. We're going to put some rooms in the house. And our files ultimately will be the objects in the rooms, if we can use that analogy. So I'm going to open up the house by double-clicking on the icon. And it's with the left click. So left, double-click. You need to go fairly fast on the clicks. You can see here in this navigation bar that I'm inside a folder called Spring Semester 2024. And this happens to be sitting inside of the OneDrive on my Loyalist College account. Okay, so when you look up here, you can actually see where things are nested. So it's in here. I'm going to create a new folder for each one of my courses. I want you to create a folder for each course. Now, our course is called Computer Essentials, and it's coded Comp 1004. So I'm going to create New Folder by clicking New Folder. I'm going to start with the... Uh, C-O-M-P. Let me just go backspace here. I want to do all capital letters. And then 1004. That might be enough. That might work for you if you're good with the codes. But I think I'm going to put a hyphen in here. I'm going to do space, hyphen, space. And type out the actual name as well. Computer. You can use spaces. And essentials. Okay. Now you may have subfolders in there depending on the teacher's instructions, but that's the folder for our course. 
Now I see I have another new folder here, so I'm just going to click it once and then click it again to highlight the name. That's one way to rename. You can also actually right click. I'm just going to wait for this to catch up here. Right click and go rename and it'll get you to the same spot. So I'm just going to call this course 2 because I don't know what your other courses are called. Course 2 and I want you to create a folder for each course. I'll just do one more as an example. New folder. It automatically comes up with the name highlighted so I can start to type right away. Course space bar 3 Hit your enter key when you're done. That actually enters the name, okay? So I don't know how many courses you have, but they should all be here separately. And again, these are all inside of a folder called Spring Semester 2024. Now, these arrows here are for navigating. You can go back. This is also for going up. So in this case, it'll get us to the same place. Go back, and you can see here on my main top level folder in my OneDrive I have another folder called all and a folder for all of my courses for this semester called spring semester 2024 and if I click away it deselects and if I highlight it I can highlight it once to select it or if I highlight it once and then highlight the text again I can actually edit the text if I click away I can also right click to edit the text and you can see here there are a number of other things that can be done. I'd say be careful, but you can delete, you can copy, you can cut, which is like delete from this location, paste in another location. You can do what's called send to, where we can compress it into what's called a zipped folder. And that's something we'll speak more to a little later on in the course. But there are a lot of options with your right click. Okay. To open it, I'll remind you again, double click with the left mouse and you can see our subfolders here. If I double click again, this is where I would save a file. So I'm going to actually save a file here. There's a couple of ways of doing it. You can do it from inside of a file. I do have one Microsoft Word file sitting on my desktop. My desktop is actually the local hard drive inside of my computer. So if I want to move it from my hard drive to my OneDrive, it's a click and drag. And that means click, hold your mouse down, drag the file, and you usually see a little ghost moving with it. And if it can't go someplace, it'll kind of tell you. It'll have a little circle with a line, but I'm just going to drag it in here. And it's telling me that inside of Comp 1004 Computer Essentials, I've just uploaded the file called test underscore word 01. So those are the basics on setup up your OneDrive account and uh, establishing some folders on it where you can save your files. We will go into depth on how to save a file from inside of Microsoft Word inside of another lesson. But basically, this is how you can access your OneDrive. Once you set it up, it should be over in your left hand column here, and you can simply click on it to highlight it and see all of your subfolders. Again, I'll double click on there, and these are the folders I created for all the courses in our program. And again, if I double click here, I can see any files that are contained inside of that hierarchy. And I can see the hierarchy structure right up here in my navigation bar. And if I want it to go backwards, I can simply click the up button once again. And that is our lesson on setting up and accessing your OneDrive account on your Windows PC.